So the reason that we've had this conversation, I've had all these questions, is because college is becoming less and less affordable for so many students. So what solution, if any, is there for making college more affordable? You know, Ball State's done some really interesting things in the last few years, and I think we've been quite creative about it. Perhaps before many of you were here, but we reduced the number of credits for the bachelor's degree from 126 to 120. So pulled six credits out of forced academic programs to pull six credits out of their, their degree programs. The whole idea then is you spend less time here. So that, that's one thing you can do. Other thing is, uh, another thing is that we, for example, now have degree maps in place so we can help students navigate through that that uh, fairly complex academic programming, how do you get to your degree? They should know if you do this, you can get out in, in uh, this period of time. We've made degrees in three available. So you can graduate in, in three years in many of our academic programs. And some of the actually the most credit heavy and restricted programs are the ones that are most effective at this, like nursing. We have a, a number of nursing students who do the degree in three. In fact, I was talking with one of our, uh, the parents of one of our baseball players, it, as it turns out, who's finishing a degree in three years in entrepreneurship and is likely to get drafted into the pros, so I don't know what that'll have to do with his degree, but well, maybe something. And, and uh, so we're looking at that. The other thing that we've done recently in the last few years is change the summer tuition so students can do things online, for example, during the summer or on campus during the summer to accelerate their time to degree. Right now we have, I, I believe it's, it's true today, maybe higher than this, but at least 50% of our on-campus students are taking at least on one, one online course. How many of you are taking one online course this uh, right now? So that's, that's approximately correct. That's the way that you can be more effective at getting out. So it turns out, I hope I'm not taking too much time here, I see you're, you're um, that you know, if you take longer to graduate, you're spending more money to get out, and you're not making money, so it's a, it's a double whammy for you, right? The biggest impediment to graduating on time, the biggest impediment to graduating on time is not taking enough credits per semester. That's the single biggest factor. It's not changing majors, necessarily. It's, it's not a lot of other things you hear about. If you take 12 credits a semester successfully, you will not graduate in four years. You just, you won't. It's arithmetically impossible. <laughs> so we've, we've done everything we can to get students through in a timely manner. Uh, and we're constantly looking for ways to streamline the curricula, uh, make it more effective, uh, trying to double up on things so students can get out sooner. All right, um, thank you. I would just like to end by thanking both of you for speaking to the students about tuition and transparency. I know it's a topic that not a lot of students know a lot about. Um, and like you said, that information that is available is sometimes hard to understand and hard for the average student to understand. And that's what we've discovered in um, writing our magazine. So I would just like to give each of you a chance to make closing remarks. Anything you want to say? I'd like to first say, I think, great job. And so, and thank you for this. I'm, I'm very pleased to get a chance to get out of my office and meet with real human beings and, <laughs> and see the world. And, I'm sorry. I mean, it's a deli. I mean, it's too much. Um, and and, and I, I'm sincere when I say I really want you all to understand what we do and why we do it. It's, it's, a, it's a burden of doing this job, quite honestly. A burden that I take very seriously, but I enjoy a great deal. And if I had your input, I knew what you wanted what was important to you, and that you wanted to understand this stuff, I'd be very, very happy to help you. So maybe the next conversation can be, help us understand a little bit more about the, about the budget and how it's put together, and love to come back some time. And, and I'm easy to find, I'm in the directory. Um, so email me, call me, sincerely, anytime. I, I certainly agree with everything Bernie said, and I'll just make one comment. When, when you graduate and start looking for a job, recruiters will be talking with you and every day they'll be talking with a dozen, dozen other students just like you. And so what they're going to be asking themselves when they're talking to you is what sets you apart from otherwise equally qualified candidates, right? Because if all they were interested in the cor were the courses you took and the grades you got, they would, they would just get your transcripts and make their hiring decisions based upon that. What they'll look at is what kind of experiences have you had as a student while you're here that that demonstrates that you have the ability to work in the organization, whatever it is. What kind of leadership skills do you have? What kind of interpersonal skills do you have? Problem-solving skills that you have beyond the classroom. And it's activities like this 
and the organizations that you're in that will demonstrate to them that you can do things. I have to compliment you that this is uh, probably one of the most professional student-run symposia I have participated in. And uh, good questions, obviously, is a big topic. And I say good job. And by the way, I think we will stick around for a few minutes for those people who have additional questions. All right. Um, well, thank you, President King and Vice President Hannon. Um, Bob Barings has spent all semester creating a conversation about the financing of college and what that costs us. Um, I each e urge each of you in the audience to read our print magazine and to continue the conversation by sharing your comments and questions online using the hashtag MyMoneyBSU. You can also visit our website at BallBearingsMag.com. It's our money and it matters. Thank you.